Will my home insurance go up if I make a claim? However with today's complex rating schemes and statistical data, more and more companies are rating renewals, at least in part based on claims history. One carrier that we have in our agency will adjust a renewal for claims at a percentage that will depend upon the peril causing the prior loss and the amount of the settlement. On the other hand, we have a number of companies that do not adjust renewal rates based on claim activity. Regardless, it is in your best interest to avoid submitting minor losses to any insurance company and instead use the strategy of self-insuring small claims through the use of a higher deductible. That strategy results in lower insurance costs each year and removes the temptation to rely on trading small dollars with the insurance company. Though you may find companies that will not rate, based on claims activity, all companies will look at loss history for eligibility when you shop or look for a different program. Add to that, the growing use of claims history as a rating factor, makes the use of higher deductibles a prudent choice. How can you find out if your homeowner's policy charges for claims? Ask your agent or company representative about how your specific home insurance program works. Probably not. However, homeowners' claims are relatively few. I'm 74 and a homeowner for over 40 years and have never had a claim. If you have a theft expect to do your part to prevent a second theft, probably from the same thief. After a second or third, and you have no prevention in place, prepare to be non-renewed. Your new carrier will know of your losses and charge you accordingly. Same with a fire. What happened? How can another be prevented? A windstorm or tornado loss would not be preventable. But an old roof, loosing shingles every time the wind blows would result in higher deductibles, co-insurance, or non-renewal if you did not get it replaced. Many carriers have multiple pup companies with different rates. Rather than non-renewal, you may be placed in a higher-priced company if the carrier thinks you are a poor risk. It depends. My parents did a claim for $35,000 on theirs and it did not go up significantly, it almost seemed the standard year-to-year -year increase which was less than $100. But be aware that if you do too many claims they may cancel your insurance. And then is extremely hard to get insured. Too many depends on carrier but I am told is between 2 to 3 on a 10-year period. You would have to find other people in your area with the same provider that have made claims. And yes, insurance provider results vary from place to place. So if someone in Ohio had great experience with insurance A and their neighbors had horrible experience with insurance B. People in Nebraska may say the opposite. Unlike an auto policy, putting in a homeowner's claim does not raise your cost of insurance, as long as the company insuring you does not cancel you. If they do, then yes you would pay more with the new company. Now, whether you have a claim or not, most homeowners insurance policies will see an annual rate increase plus, they will increase the value of your home, to keep up with inflation. A double increase in cost, so to speak, but it has nothing to do with whether you have a claim or not. Homeowners insurance is not like auto insurance, it cannot be surcharged due to claims. And it cannot be cancelled mid-term, but can be non-renewed at expiration. The main reason for a non-renewal is multiple claim activity not a 1x large claim.